Thank you very much. PSI Lady Air Defenders. Both teams still have time to warm up before tip off. Hello and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an afternoon of women's basketball action dito lang yan sa Women's National Basketball League. Good afternoon everybody. My name is Andre Go and we have a great matchup for you guys. We have the Tagig Lady Generals against the Lady Air Defenders in our matchup today for the WNBN and I hope you guys are tuning in via whatever source uh, we're streaming the game today because we have great basketball action for you guys this uh, afternoon. As you can see, the Tagig Lady Generals are still unbeaten at 5-0 while the PSI Lady Air Defenders right behind them at 4-2. But the Tagig Lady Generals, of course, they want to uh, keep their unbeaten record alive here in this game as they continue to surge here in our uh, uh, conference as in that previous encounter, the Lady Generals won that game 69-57 to against the Lady Air Defenders. Free throws uh, were the story 18 out of 28 for the Tagig City Generals. And it was 10 of 21 for the Lady Air Defenders. So if they clean that up, they might make this game close. While the assist department, pass break department, points off of turnovers, all in favor of the Tagig City Lady Generals. So as you can see, the counting numbers really in favor of Tagig. So let's see if they can continue their winning streak or will the Lady Air Defenders, you know, manage an upset here in this game. And Gemma Miranda in that game had a dominating uh, game. Double-double, 19 points, 17 rebounds against the Lady Spartans. And, uh, I, I, sorry, against the Lady Air Defenders in their last game. So let's see if she can continue on and uh, dominate this game as well. As we're getting ready to uh, see our uh, matchup for today. As we have a very exciting uh, game for you guys. Let's turn it over to our Barker for our starting lineups. Generals. Starting at forward, number 30, Wiz Duazo. Starting at guard, number 28, Stephanie Ventura. Forward, number 12, Monique Del Carmen. One guard, number 10, AJ Gloriani. And at center, number 4, April Siat. The Geek Lady Generals is led by Mark Robin Lucena. Now the starting five for the PSI Lady Air Defenders. At guard number five, Daphne Texon. Also at guard number seven, Fria Bernardo. Playing center number 10, Ambi Almazan. At forward number 17, Anna Buendia. Also at forward number 28, Angel Ortega. PSI Lady Air Defenders head coach is Alvin Zuniga. Referees for this ball game are Arman Abuganda, Ryan De Jesus, and Luis and Saripe. Go, our matchup that the gig Lady General starting with Gloriani, Ventura, Siat, Duazo, and Del Carmen. While for the Lady Air Defenders, we have Bernardo, Texon, Almazan, Buendia, and Ortega for the Lady Air Defenders. So here we go, guys. Our WNBL matchup this afternoon. You guys are enjoying it uh, live and online on the NBL Facebook page. Salamat. Thank you for joining us uh, here in uh, our game for today. As Let's see where first possession will go. Lady Air Defenders have the basketball. <laughs> Lady Air Defenders. Passing the ball around. Going to the post. Tag in the post. That gets stolen away by the gig. Battle for the loose ball. The referees call a jump ball before a timeout was called by the Lady Air Defenders. Again, immediately another jump ball for these two teams. Ball is tipped. Ball will finally go to Tagig. Doazo gets the basketball. Goriani bringing the ball down. 
Del Carmen back to Duazo. Doriani again. Del Carmen passing inside. Duazo to the corner. Siat short stab jumper is good for Siat. Lady Air Defenders passing the ball around. To the corner. Back and forth they go. Almazan driving. Baseline. Almost loses the basketball. Gets trapped. And that is a shot clock violation. Good defense by the Lady Generals. The gig with the basketball again. Doriani bringing the ball down. Swinging the ball around. Ventura being guarded. Good defense by the Lady Air defenders. Del Carmen. Naipet. And ball will stay with the Taguig Lady Generals. Del Carmen set to bring the ball in for the Lady Generals. Gloriani shoots from the outside. That is good for the Lady Generals. Ortega. Amazan passing the ball around. Lady Air Defenders need some points. Too strong. Ball still with the Lady Air Defenders. Drop step. Layup doesn't go. Lady Air Defenders struggling on offense. Del Carmen running down court. Fake shot is good for Del Carmen. Quick 7 0 run by the Lady Generals. As the Lady Air Defenders struggling against this defense. This was the three point shot by AJ Gloriani. While Del Carmen using that pump fake. And the back is open for the Lady Generals. We'll be back in a bit. This is the WNBL. Back to the ball game as the Lady Generals have a 7-0 burst to start. As uh, Gloriani had 8.6 assists while uh, Season had 7.6 rebounds against the Lady Spartans in their last game. And that was, you know, big boost from everybody scoring uh, from all over the floor. Lady Air Defenders still have yet to put points on the board. From the outside, that is an air ball by the Lady Air Defenders. Lady Generals get the ball back. Lady Generals go to Del Carmen. Del Carmen attacking baseline. Double team. Kick out Siad. Nice fake. Open shot by Siad. It's good. Lady Generals on fire to start this game. Their defenders. Ball gets tipped. Will stay with the white shirts. This was the shot by Siad. Nice fake to get the defender off her feet. And that's a too easy for April Siad. Substitutions coming in for the Air Defenders. Texon inside. Air Defenders still no go with any basket. They go inside to the post. Jump shot. Still no good for the Lady Air Defenders. 9-0. Burst by the Lady Generals to start this ball game. He'll go 4 of 4 for the Lady Generals. That is 0 out of 4 for the Lady Air Defenders. Make that 5. Out of five to start the ball game for the Lady Generals. What a start, 11-0. 6.40 remaining here in the first. Air defenders 
Go down low, drop step, almost loses the basketball, passes it straight to the hands of Monique Del Carmen. Doazo setting it up. Patient offense right now for the Lady Generals. Gloriani to the baseline. Del Carmen gets the ball tipped away. Carmen goes to Gloriani. Ventura gets the handoff, gets guarded by the air defenders, and that is an offensive foul. Ventura gets called for that foul off of that loose ball. Still an 11 0 ball game. Air defenders, four minutes in, still no points on the board. Air defenders calling out a play. Texon. Tries to attack the middle. Strong move. Drops it off. Nice fake. Air defenders finally get one to go. Generals have the basketball again. Del Carmen. To Siat. Doriani. Trying to find some space. Drops it off. See it again. Jump shot. First miss of the game for the Lady Generals. Attack inside. Air defenders. No. Get, they get the offensive rebound. Inside again. Ball gets tipped. We'll stay with the Lady Air Defenders. Veneranda comes in for the Lady Generals. Texon against Gloriani. They go down to the post. Fix it out. Drive inside. Kick out. Still Lady Air Defenders. Second shot clock violation of the ball game for the Lady Air Defenders. Veneranda Bernardo will jump for this. Good tap. Battle for the loose ball will go to the air defenders. And they immediately call a timeout. So heads up play for the Lady Air Defenders as uh, they manage to call a timeout just in time. We'll be back. Our score is 11-2 in favor of the Taking City Lady Generals. Leads it 11 2 against the Lady Air Defenders. As uh, the Air Defenders struggling against the defense so far of the Taking Lady Generals. Let's see the stats of Cynthia Resultai against the Lady Generals in the previous game 7 points, 10 rebounds, 4 steals against the Lady Sailors, 18 points, 9 rebounds. So a consistent threat for the Lady Air Defenders, Cynthia Resultai. Let's see if she can uh, be better. That those numbers as uh, they're looking to upset the undefeated Lady Generals. But so far, the Lady Generals tapping their class here with a 11 point lead early here in the first quarter, way past the halfway part, halfway point mark of our uh, first quarter. Inside, Benyaranda powers it. No, air defenders trying to run. Generals get back on defense. Season defending inside. Ball gets thrown out of bounds by the Lady Air Defenders. Generals calling out a play. Claro to Peñaranda. Peñaranda all alone gets it a go. Nice crossover move by Peñaranda. 
to shake her defender off. Gives them back the double-digit lead, 13-2. Three-point shot. Air defenders. In and out. Pinaranda with the rebound. Gets it to Claro. Claro inside. Great pass. Couldn't get the shot to go. Avila gets it down low. Air defenders gets fouled. They will head to the free throw line for their first shots at the line for this game. This was the foul by Peñaranda. Definitely a reach in. And great crossover and drive by Peñaranda to get that shot to go. Free throw doesn't go for the air defenders. Let's see where the air defenders will find some offense in this game. Second free throw. Still no go in and out for the air defenders. The Lady Generals now with the basketball with a chance to put, add to this lead. Claro inside. Peñaranda gets the ball tip. Claro with an open three. She takes it. That doesn't go. Battle for the loose ball. We'll stay with the Lady Generals. Almazan, short rest, comes into the ball game. Nice pass inside. Season kicks it out to Peñaranda. Peñaranda with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Back to Season. They kick it out to Galicia. Nice fake by Galicia. The ball just gets tapped from behind. Better defense by the air defenders. They're running now. Nice pass. Almazan inside. Still no go. Rebound goes to Peñaranda. Claro asking for a screen. That is a foul on the Lady Air Defenders. First team foul for the Lady Air Defenders. Ooh, almost a steal by the air defenders. Good defense. 13 seconds on the shot clock for the Lady Generals. Peñaranda from the outside. Just hits board. Battle for the loose ball. Will go to the air defenders. They're running now. Attacking. Nice sidestep. Everything but the shot for the Lady Air Defenders. Season. Has some space. Goes, drives, takes it. Doesn't make it. They get the ball back. Put back. Still no go. Lady Air Defenders still have the basketball. And we have a foul. And I think Almazan will get called for that foul. Paig is the one that gets called for the foul. On that play, Lady Generals get the ball back. 13-2, Air Defenders just two points in 2 9 remaining here in the first. Peñaranda loads up, drives, takes it in herself. Still no go for the Generals. Pai gets it. But this defense of the gig still holding up. Still holding the Air Defenders to two points. From the outside, still no goal for the air defender. Spinaranda secures the rebound. They're running down court now. Jump shot is good for the Generals. Manuel gets that shortstop jumper to go. That's been going in for the leading Generals in this game. They have now a 13 point lead. As the air defenders just have two points. Spy now with it. Almazan. Dive inside. Air defender. Some space. Still no go. Manuel with the rebound. Claro to Galicia. Ooh, good tap behind. Nobody 
Gets Paig down low. Paig with the easiest shot of the ball game. Gets the air defenders their second bucket. That was the second tap away by the air defenders. Good defense on that play. Claro to Pinaranda. Pinaranda attacks, sticks it out. Galicia again gets the ball tipped away. Paig is all alone once again. Air defenders all the way. No, Paig blows the layup. And Tagig has numbers, but they also throw it away. Bad pass by Claro. So both teams a bit messy here towards the end of the first quarter. As we have some substitutions coming in. Short jumper is good for the air defenders. Some life for them towards here at the end of the first quarter. They're down by just nine. Let's see if the generals recognize that there's no time left. Claro just throws it up. Almost gets it a go. Put back is good. That looks to count for the Lady Generals as they just threw it up over their head. That was sick. And we're back to the ball game, start of the second quarter as uh, we see Coach Bing Victoria, of course, supporting the NBL youth that we had earlier. That was an exciting uh, morning of basketball for our under 14 and our under, uh, under 16 or under 19 kids earlier in the NBL youth. That was a very exciting morning. So I guess, as we told you, basketball doesn't stop here in the NBL. You have NBL youth, WNBL. Later on, we still have NBL basketball games to be played. But we're concentrating first on the ladies as... Uh, we have a matchup between the top two teams right now in the WNBL. As Claro takes down a Lady Air Defenders player. As they're down a player, Peneranda takes advantage. As uh, the Lady Generals get a bucket out of that. Let's see who's on the floor. As uh, that was a hard shot to the face. And she seems to be all right. Let's see what happens here. This is Claro. Rolling the basketball when she gets it. Let's see what happens here. As she reaches in, she gets hit on the nose. So, unfortunate. Nothing intentional on that play. From the outside, Lady Air defenders go inside to Almazan. Almazan gets defended well. Ball almost gets tapped. Resultai gets blocked by Galicia. Resultai gets it back again. Still no go. Air defenders, no fourth attempt. One more time, finally gets a shot to go. This was a great pass by Resultai to Buendia, who was cutting in the middle. And finally, on the fifth attempt, get a shot to go for the Lady Air Defenders. Claro passes the ball to no one, but that gets tapped away. Let's see, rebounding battle in favor of the Lady Generals, 15 to 10, so far here in this ball game. Claro. Dive inside. Seesaw and all the way. To Big pickup for Tagig having Snow Beneranda on their squad. Attack inside, air defenders, crossover. That is good. Bernardo with a great drive, taking the contact. Sinks the basket anyway, Beneranda. Claro, step back. That doesn't go. Rebound goes to the Lady Air Defenders. All the way is good. 
Columna cuts that lead down to six. As the Lady Air Defenders coming back at this ball game. This is a drive earlier by Bernardo, taking the hit from Claro. Floats that one in, and again, another fast break opportunity for the Lady Air Defenders. Nobody there guarding them. Columna takes advantage as they have cut this lead down to six, 21 to 15 in favor of the Lady Generals. See the stats of Fria Bernardo, the Lady Air Defenders against the Generals. She had 10 points, but a bad field goal percentage in that game against the Lady Sailors. She played much better. 13 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists. All-around game for Fria Bernardo. And she had a great layup to start this uh, second quarter for the Lady Air Defenders as they're trying to cut into this lead. Lady Generals now down to a 6-point lead as the Generals now bring in their starters back in the game. Del Carmen from the outside. That looks short. Is short. Battle for the rebound goes to Bindia. Bindia has been playing well. The Lady Air Defenders throw the ball, uh, the, uh, the ball away. Drive inside, good floater for the Lady Generals. Season very aggressive in this game. Lady Air Defenders go inside. Windia again. Hook shot doesn't go, but she draws the foul. at the free throw line that goes in the Dia one out of two Peñaranda gobbles that rebound up almost a steal by the air defenders Del Carmen ooh ball hits her foot the air defenders now running with Dia Nice sidestep, everything but the shot. Loriani with the basketball. Generals back to Del Carmen. Del Carmen thought about it. Season this time takes the contact, layup, no go this time for Season. Resultai, pull up three. No, both teams now missing. Loriani, and we have a timeout called by the Generals. They want to talk it over. As uh, both teams are starting to miss from the field. We'll be back in a bit. Lady Generals lead at 23 to 16. We have fans here at the uh, Brenzio Convention Center. It's nice to have fans back in the NBA. And of course, fans of our uh, Lady Air Defenders and the Lady Generals watching the game here. So thank you for watching here at the Brenzio Convention Center as we are enjoying WNBL action. Hope you guys are all 
good on a Saturday afternoon enjoying uh, basketball here at the NBL page and of course wherever you guys are watching our game. As we have a foul called on that inbound, but that was a dangerous pass by the Lady Generals. Almost a steal, but a foul is called anyway. Inside, no go for the Generals once again. Pass to the corner, air defenders, gets fouled. That's a foul on the Generals. From the outside, the air defenders. Lady, Lady Generals drive inside. That is still no good for the Lady Generals. Lady Air Defenders now running the ball down. 23 to 16, so both teams now struggling to score. That goes out of bounds. We'll go back to the Lady Generals. Lady Air Defenders drive baseline. Pass to the mortem. A foul is called. Two shots for the Lady Air Defenders. Lady Air Defenders now. Screen is called. Another foul. Oh no, the referees are calling a dribbling violation against the Lady Air Defenders. So back to back turnovers for the Lady Air Defenders. Gloriani bringing the ball down. Del Carmen using the screen. Gloriani, look at this defense by the air defenders now. Very active. No look pass. Del Carmen, open three. No go. Battle for the rebound goes to the air defenders. Now they have numbers. Oh, they pull it back. That is good. Three point shot for the lady air defenders. Resul Tai now answers with that big three. Cuts the lead down to four. Past the halfway point of the second quarter. 4.15 remaining. The Generals now struggling on offense. Their defenders, their defense suddenly stepping up now. Gloriani tries to counter back. Air ball for the Lady Air defenders. Almazan falls to the floor. A bit more uh, physical defense by the Generals being played right now. From the outside, no. Ooh. And we have a foul called on the Lady Air defenders on that rebound. This is the big shot by Resultai to cut that lead down to four. The Lady Air defenders making a run here in the second quarter. Del Carmen with a beautiful reverse layup. That was a baseline drive. Aggressive move by Del Carmen. Ooh. 
Lady Air Defenders attacking, middle, hangs in the air. Bernardo gets fouled by Cesar, another we'll shoot two. This was a beautiful drive by Del Carmen. Hangs in the air. Look at that. Beautiful reverse layup. Take a look at it one more time. Hangs in the air. Gets that one to go. That is good. So lead is five for, or lead is four for the Lady Generals, 25 to 21. 256 remaining here in the second quarter. Siat finds Del Carmen. Ooh, good steal by the air defenders. They're running now, they have numbers. Nice pass. Couldn't get the angle, they're open from the outside. Bendia air balls it. Offensive rebound is good, plus the foul for Resultai. What a rebound. Del Carmen now trying to break that spell. They kick it out. Again, another miss for the Generals. Air defenders with a chance to take a lead. Ortega. Down low. Back to Ortega. Lines up the three. Ooh, almost went in. They get the ball back. Nice move. Still no go for the air defenders. They're running now. Ooh, that is a turnover by the Lady Generals. ADR defenders again with a crack at it to take a lead. Texon gets it. Pass inside. Beautiful pass. Just going to get the shot to go. Put back. Still no go. Another chance. Generals finally come away with it. Mel Carmen. Swinging the ball around. Peñaranda. Checks back in for added offense. Look at that double team. Ooh, the pass is too strong. Another turnover by the Generals. This defense by the Air Defenders stifling the offense of the Generals here in the second quarter. Paig comes into the ball game for Bernardo for the Lady Air Defenders. As uh, the Lady Air Defenders started 3 out of 15, 6 out of 16 since. Again, not much better numbers than the Generals, but enough to cut this lead down to 1. Double team. Almost gets stolen away by the Lady Generals, but the Air Defenders keep possession. 10 seconds of the shot clock for the Lady Air Defenders. Nice cut. Layup doesn't go. Rebound goes to... Ortega, Resultai against Peñaranda. Ortega to the corner. Inside. Hook shot. Still no go. Air defenders can get that bucket to take the lead. Almost a turnover. As Bacaro, that was a risky pass. That's stopped away by the air defenders. The air defenders really clamping the offense of the generals here. As the generals call a timeout as they need a way to score a bucket in this game as they still lead it though by one point, 25 to 24.
back to the ball game as the Generals still lead it by one and still racking up the victories that the Gig Lady Generals won their last game 58 to 45 dominating win against the Lady Spartans as you can see all statistics point to a victory for the Lady Generals and they're trying to do the same here against the second seeded team here in our uh, season so far the Lady Air Defenders at four and two but uh, the, the Gig Lady Generals at five and oh they still lead it by one though 19.8 seconds remaining here in the second quarter, 19.8 seconds, 14 seconds on the shot clock. So the Lady Air Defenders can get a stop and a score. Generals. Gloriani drives baseline, has some space. Shot is good by AJ Gloriani. Much needed bucket by the Generals. Ortega almost loses it. This will tie for the tie. No. Battle for the loose ball, Resul Tai doesn't have any more time left as that is halftime for this game. As the Lady Generals manages to squeeze out a three point lead here at the end of the second quarter, but it is all Lady Air defenders in that second quarter. This is the drive by Season earlier, trying to stave off this run by the Lady Air defenders, but Resul Tai from the outside cuts that lead down to single digits. Del Carmen. With the highlight of the quarter with that beautiful reverse layup as the gig Lady Generals hold on 27 and 24. This is the WNBL. Bin. Still with a lot of energy. Look at this. Look at the energy of Chaka Bin Bin. Woo! She's so fast, even in slow motion. Air Force. Shot clock down to five. Oh, fancy shot! Wow! Put that on our highlight reel. Look at that again. Look at this uh, circus shot by Air Force. Another angle. Wow. Both teams trying to get the first bucket in the second half. Borja. What a shot. Reverse layup. Almost like a no look shot. Steal! Completed by Kamin Bin! Kamin Bin! We'll take it strong for the two points! As if it meant their life! Kamin Bin! Strong move! Oh, she goes for the miss! They get the offensive rebound! This will die! Kick out! Oh, the three is down! Columna! With the go-ahead three! With six seconds left! Wow! Good luck then, Bukas. Salamat po, salamat po. <laughs> okay, let's now go to the highlights of the uh, game. And actually, this is the semifinals where the Euratex Dream faced off with uh, Euratex T-Buy in the first semifinal match. And it was a blowout with Euratex Dream showing their might 
against their sister team the winning score or the final score 21 to 10 in favor of Uratex Dream and then in the second semi-final affair Tagig Lady Generals battling Angelis Resort and it was a close game but Snow Peñaranda took over in the late goings of this matchup and this turnaround shot one of the key baskets for Tagig they won against Angelis Resort 14 to 11 and in the championship game it was all Tagig Lady Generals, they took advantage of the struggles of Eurotex Dream from the outside. April Siat with this foul line jumper and Siat with another shot inside but Snow Peñaranda with the key baskets in the championship game and this put back one of the crucial baskets, Tagig winning this one 13-7, to the Lady Generals, the champions. Big game for you. Oh, Ali Yub is good for Ramos. Oh, look at Ramos. Look at the elevation. Oh, look at the elevation. It's Abel. And good tap from behind. Capuso will go for back to back. His body is blocked. Public display of rejection there. Again. Ooh, wow. Just like in volleyball. Chan, see the Villain Weber screen. Chan, the Villain Weber. One second. Oh, buzzer beater. Now what a game. I say, what a game from Ivan Villain Weber. You know, capping off that uh, strong third quarter with this late triple. <laughs> Ali, you play, what a finish. Yeah. Ali, you finish. Shane, a god. It's with Kabiko. Kabiko, false pass in traffic. Oh, you don't do that. You don't do a false pass in traffic. Santos, tipsy do. Swim shot, tipsy do. Woohoo! It's Capasho, Alves all alone, and he's slumber! Vincent Alves! For that. And here we go, halftime, 27-24 in favor of the Taguig City Lady Generals. Up against the Lady Air Defenders, and as you can see, they're standing so far 5 0 for the Lady Generals and 4 2 for the Lady Air Defenders. Uh, so, we start off uh, this game, started off this game with a very hot the gig Lady Generals as they were 5 5 from the field to start this game. As uh, so you see, some highlights from Snow Pineranda, April Siat for the Lady Generals, and they ended that first quarter with a double digit lead 17 6. But in that second quarter, it was just all. Lady Air Defenders as they outscored uh, the Lady Generals in that quarter 18 to 10 if I'm not mistaken in that quarter as uh, they cut this lead down to 3 and this will tie with that big 3 to cut it down to a single digit ball game again Del Garmin showing us uh, she got some handles by driving and shooting that reverse layup as we see our field goal summary both teams really struggling from the floor the gig Generals despite that hot start uh, still shooting 39% from the field. Lady Air Defenders really shooting much worse at 9 out of 36. Rebounding department almost the same. Assist almost the same. Points in the paint was separated by 4 points. Again, still anybody's ball game here at halftime as our leading scorers, Snow Pineranda with 6. Loriani with 5. Siet with 4. Janet Season with 4. For the Thinking City Generals. As for the Lady Air Defenders, Sultai with 8. Ana Bendia with 6. Fria Bernardo with 4. Annalyn Almazan with two points for the Lady Air Defenders. Again, just a three-point ball game here at halftime. So both teams still have time to come away with a win. Let's see if the Air Defenders manage a way to uh, get or give the Lady Generals their first loss of the season or will the Lady Generals remain unbeaten here in our standings. Again, at 5-0, oh, uh, Lady Air Defenders in a four-game winning streak at 4-2. 
followed by the Gopher Gold Lady Sailors, Army Lady Battalion, and the San Quezon Lady Spartans. Still on, uh, winless here in uh, the WNBL. And our game results earlier as uh, the Kabuyo Titans beat, uh, lost to the Emeralds Academy. Pampanga Delta Jr. won against the San Pedro Log. And Bulacan Red Arc won against San Juan Gopher Gold and Binyan. Losing again to uh, Pampanga Junior Delta as we start our third quarter. As our players are getting ready. Start of the third quarter. Start of the third quarter, three-point lead by the Lady Generals to start this game. Loriani passing the ball around. Nice steal by the air defenders. Buendia gets it in the corner. Has some space, no hesitation. Ties the ball game with that three. Del Carmen passes it to the corner. Siad gets trapped, throws it almost away. This defense of the air defenders has been stifling since the second quarter. Siad thought about it. Fade away, doesn't. Ooh, nice roll by uh, April Siad. That was almost out and it manages to go in. Lady Air Defenders. Kicks it out. Nice steal by Gloriani. But she gets trapped in the corner. Gets stolen back. Bendia inside. 5-0 burst by Bendia. For the Lady Air Defenders to tie the game at 29. Del Carmen. Being hounded by Columna. Siat hands it off to Gloriani. Gloriani being guarded pretty well. Passes it to nobody. That is a turnover for the Generals. This was a nice pass inside. Bendia manages to recover and gets that lefty shot to go. Bendia swinging the ball around. The Sultai. Either air defenders with a chance to take the lead. Go back to Resulta. He couldn't handle the basketball. Back to back turnovers by both teams. Lady air defenders still tied at 29 against the Lady Generals. Turnover again, Lady Air Defenders all the way. Draws the foul, will go to the line for a chance to take the lead. Sultai gives the Lady Air Defenders the lead. Two for two for Resultai. Two point lead for the Lady Air Defenders. Doriani loses the basketball. Look at that dive. Air Defenders have it. They go all the way plus the basket for Resultai and almost gets the ball stolen away again. Lady Generals losing their composure.
The Sultai taking the contact, puts it up and drops it. What a run by the Lady Air defenders here in the third quarter. Ventura drives. Floater is good for Ventura. Stops the bleeding so far for the Lady Generals. Jump shot. Air defenders, no go. Ooh, that is an offensive foul. Del Carmen gets called. She gets caught on that one. Not happy with the basketball with that call by the referee. But the referee saw it. Let's see it one more time. Del Carmen with the spin move uses that off arm to shake her defender off. Columna standing her ground. So again. Another third over for the Generals. Drive inside. They lose the basketball. Peñaranda all alone. Peñaranda drives. Hangs in the air. Everything but the shot. Bernardo comes away with it. Their defenders. They get the ball back. So again... Helter Skelter basketball here in the third quarter. Columna loses the basketball. So the Lady Air defenders and the Lady Generals really sloppy here in the third. Peñaranda. Their defenders get the ball back. So again, sloppy basketball continues by both teams. Good defense though, but again, a lot of unforced turnovers, unforced errors from the outside. Air defenders hit another three. Columna. Doriani. Ventura gets blocked off, gets double team. Good defense by the air defenders. Swings it to Del Carmen. Del Carmen lines up the three. Foul is called. The ball will stay with the Lady Generals. Bernardo gets called for that foul. Ventura comes out of the ball game. Claro checks in for the Generals. Texon comes in for Bernardo for the Lady Air Defenders. 4.13 to go here in the third quarter. Five-point lead by the Air Defenders. Claro, no hesitation. No go. Siat put back. Still no go. Almazan gets fouled by Siat. The air defenders have the basketball with a chance to increase this lead. They were down 17 to 6 in the first quarter. Now up by five points after just ramping up their defense and hitting those three-point bombs. Columna down to Almazan. Almazan draws the foul, almost gets the bucket to go. Mazan misses on the first free throw. Del Carmen, just a minute's rest, comes into the ball game for AJ Gloriani. Del 
No go. Both free throws for Almazan. But the Lady Air defenders with still with this five point lead. Del Carmen down to Peneranda. Peneranda putting on the moves. Loses the basketball. Will stay with the gig. Inside, Peneranda, everything but the bucket. That rolls out. What a miss by Snow Peneranda. Shot, contested shot, doesn't go for the lady. Air defenders, and we have a loose ball foul called by the referee. Outside, Columna, no, short again. Claro with the rebound. All the way, Claro, no. Peneranda put back. She gets fouled, and she'll go to the line. No Peneranda at the line now to cut into this lead. General is now on offense, really just struggling since the second quarter. Ooh, misses that one. One out of two for Snow Peneranda. Battle for the loose ball. Another jump ball is called by the referees. Bernardo comes in for Columna. 36-32 in favor of the Lady Air defenders. It's Peñaranda. Jumping right now against Avila. Ball will stay with the Generals. Claro. Cross-court pass. Three-point shot. No go. And that ball will go to the Lady Air defenders. Texon inbound. Ooh, bad pass. That is a third over. Good defense by Season. Del Carmen gets it to Peneranda. Back to Del Carmen. Kick the Sultai. Nice pass down low. Rivers layup is good. For Almazan, great two-man action by Resultai and Almazan. Luol Hati, all the way, spin move, power move, doesn't go. Have inside, Resultai, three, no go. At the Generals. Get the ball back. Look at that pass. Perfect pass by Resultai down to Almazan, who knew knows what to do with it with that reverse layup. Del Carmen draws the foul. Mm -hmm. 
Monique Del Carmen at the line for the Lady Generals for much needed points as they've struggled here in the third quarter. They've only scored six points so far here in the third quarter. And we have one minute, 13 seconds remaining here in the third. You have to remember, the Lady Generals had 17 points in the first quarter alone. And since then, they've only scored 16 points since the first quarter as uh, Del Carmen misses on that one. And a timeout is called by the Lady Air Defenders as they get that rebound and still maintain a five-point lead. We'll be back. This is the WNBL. Back to the ball game as the Lady Air Defenders have dominated this game since the second quarter. This will tie with multiple buckets and um, team plays. Bundia also airball on that one, but this will tie gets the ball back for a foul plus the bucket. I guess stolen away by Resultai, and that goes in for Sidi Resultai. Thirty seconds remaining in the third. Veneranda head down. Gets trapped. Luol Hati pulls up. No go. Rebound by the air defenders. 40 33 is our score. Bernardo holds it back. Gets it to Resultai. Inside. Reverse layup. That is good for the air defenders. Uh, just Abraham with that shot and a steal by the air defenders to end this third quarter, giving them a nine point lead as they have taken control of this game after being down double digits. We'll be back for the start of the fourth and final 42 to 33 in favor of the Lady Air Defenders. As you can see, our crowd here at the Brenzio Convention Center enjoying their afternoon watching basketball, specifically women's basketball here at the Brenzio Convention Center. Thank you for watching us live as you have a lot of fans right now watching. Thank you for watching us here as we are set to start the fourth quarter. As we are finally welcome, welcoming back fans here to the WNBL Games as well as the NBL Games. As the start of the fourth quarter, Lady Air Defenders have turned the tides in this game. They were down three points, 27-24 during halftime. Now up by nine after an explosive third quarter. And they have first crack at it here in the fourth. Columna with the basketball against Del Carmen. Trying to bring the ball down. Scoring per quarter, as you can see, 17 to 8 for Tagig in the first, 18 to 10 in favor of the Lady Air Defenders. And that dominating third quarter, 18 to 6 in favor of the Lady Air Defenders. But the Lady General still not out of this. A bull, a, an offensive foul on Bernardo, forcing the issue with that crossover. She gets called for the foul.
Ball gets tapped. Generals still have it. See at forcing the issue. Still no go. Peñaranda inside gets blocked. Good defense. Gets blocked again. Finally gets a put back to go. Almost a steal by Gloriani. Columna bringing the ball down for the Lady Air Defenders. Columna loses it. Too much dribbling by the Air Defenders now. Lady Generals with a run. Layup is good. Quick timeout now is called by the Lady Air Defenders as they want to talk it over as their lead has been cut now down to five after a great fast break that is brought to you by Gatorade. This Gatorade fast break is brought to you by Gatorade. Nothing beats Gatorade. Great play by the Lady Generals. So we'll be back as we have a timeout called on the floor. Of course, 42 to 37. As we see our, w, our NBL Youth Commissioner being Victoria, of course, uh, coach also for the Taguig Generals. Helping out, of course, the WNBL team as well. But if you guys uh, enjoyed basketball earlier by the kids, so they'll be back tomorrow. More youth basketball to be played tomorrow on a Sunday here at the Brenzio Convention Center. So I hope you guys stick around for that one. As the air defenders are trying now this time to stave off the generals but they turn it over on that play the gig suddenly now with a bit more life on defense game of runs so far referees are clearing up something on the floor Called a warning on an assistant coach of the Lady Air Defenders. That's what the referees were talking about. So resume action. Loriani now with the basketball. Tagig wants to cut into this lead. Peñaranda has it. Peñaranda turns the corner, drives, hangs in the air, misses everything. Resultai. That's it to Columna. To Bernardo. Inside Almazan, draw pass, doesn't go. Good defense by the Generals. Columna steals it back. Bedia, no. Ooh, they almost get it again. Bedia wasn't ready for that pass. She was open though. So wasted opportunity for the Lady Air defenders. Bacaro drives baseline, gets cornered, back to Peñaranda, Peñaranda attacks, loses the basketball, gets stolen away, and look at that, Columna wasn't looking, bad pass by Bernardo, both teams getting sloppy here, Loriani also turns the ball over, Columna all alone, layup is good for the air defenders. Forty-four, thirty-seven, six forty remaining here in the ball game. Foul is called on. Ooh, eight-second call is called on Bacaro and the general. So good defense once again by the Lady Air defense. Sultai gets the ball stolen away. Duazo with a great defense. Bacaro all alone. Layup is good. No, he misses the layup. Bernardo running gets it to Almazan. Budia. Nine seconds on the shot clock for the air defenders. 
Bernardo gets cornered to Resultai. Resultai thought about it. Resultai misses. 2 on 1 fast break. Baccaro this time makes sure to get that two point shot to go. Bernardo with the basketball again to Buendia. Five point ball game. Columna posting up against Baccaro. She gets fouled by Baccaro. Del Carmen with a perfect pass to Baccaro, who knows what to do with that one. Peñaranda comes in for Siet. Siet has been quiet since that first quarter. Inside again. Bernard against block. Good defense by Season. Season gets the ball back. Gets it to Bacaro. Bacaro gets fouled. Almazan gets called for her first foul of the ball game. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock. Season gets it to Del Carmen. Down to Peñaranda. Peñaranda, nice spin move. Gets the shot to go. Bernardo handling the basketball. Bad pass. Ball will go back to the Generals. As we see this move by Snow Peneranda, nice fake to the left, spins back to the middle, gets a shot to go. Power move by Peneranda. Duazo. To Del Carmen, to Season. Season just throws the ball up. Bad shot by Season. Paig bringing the ball down. Almazan gets the basketball. No shot is, uh, continuation isn't called by the referees, but draws the foul against Duazo. Almazan had the height advantage on Duazo. Gloriano coming in. Gloriani, I mean, coming in for season. Resultai to Bundia. Bundia, four seconds on the shot clock. Paig drops it off. Almazan had no time. That is a shot clock violation by the air defenders. So time recognition isn't there for the lady air defenders on that play. Just a three-point ball game. 3.56 remaining. We're going to go down the wire in this one. As Ventura comes in for Bacaro. Del Carmen gets the ball poked. Nice steal by Resultai. Resultai down to Almazan. Almazan being patient with it. Gets it back. Nice passing. Buendia gets the shot to go. Ventura being hounded by Pai gets it to Duazo. And this will tie. Looks like cramps are setting in. Back to the ball game as the Lady Generals. Trying to come back into this game. See some highlights from Snow Pinaranda. 
She's uh, tried to carry the Lady General so far in this game, trying to protect their undefeated record here in the season as Peñaranda, oh, that move, power move inside by Snow Peñaranda. They have three points to make up in three minutes to win this ball game. She has a double-double, 11 points, 13 rebounds, and one steal for the Taguig City Lady Generals. But the Lady Air Defenders still holding on to this three-point lead. As Paig comes out, Bernardo comes in for the Lady Air Defenders. Columna to inbound. Good steal. Good tap by the Carmen. Steal attempt, I mean. Ball will stay with the air defenders. Gets it to Resultai. Resultai loses the basketball and fouls Ventura. Great defense by Doazo and Ventura trapping Resultai in no man's land. That is a turnover by... The Lady Air Defenders. The Generals can tie or cut into this lead on this possession. And we have a timeout called on the floor by the Taguig Lady Generals as they want to make the most out of this possession off of a timeout. As they're down by three points with 2.53 remaining here in the fourth quarter. We'll be back in a bit. See the Lady Air Defenders after being down by 11 in that first quarter, they're just storming back to take a nine point lead. They're still up by three points, courtesy of Buendia, who's played so well in this game, pouring on the points for the Lady Air Defenders. As he has 13 points, oh, she has 13 points, five out of ten from the field, two rebounds, one steal. One block all around game for Ana Buendia has to be commended. Uh, she led this charge by the Lady Defenders to take a three point lead late here in the fourth quarter. Inbound by the Lady Generals. They get it to Gloriani. Gloriani gets trapped by Buendia and Columna. Ball gets tipped away. Ventura passing it, gets it to Siat. Peñaranda head down, gets blocked by Almazan. Oh, this Almazan reading that one perfectly. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Grignani kicks it out to Peñaranda. Peñaranda again wants to take it herself, kicks it out, Ventura, one step inside, jump shot, is good for Ventura! Ventura. Just a one point game, 2.25 remaining. Bernardo, to Columna, Almazan. Five seconds on the shot clock for the Lady Air Defenders. Columna breaks away. Layup is good for Columna. Back to the ball game. Last two minutes is brought to you by Converge. As uh, the Lady Air Defenders still with a, one po a three point lead. Siat short snap jumper in and out for Isiat. Peniranda is there. She gets fouled. 
doesn't make the shot, but she will go to the free throw line for two. This was the offensive rebound. Peñaranda really just dominating there. Elbow catches the face of Bernardo. Peñaranda went one out of two earlier. Misses the first one. Guazzo coming in for Siat. Pinaranda, one out of two at the line, cuts it to a two point lead. 141 remaining, air defenders still with a 48 46 advantage. Bernardo gets it to Columna. Back to Almazan. Resultai with a seal down low. Resultai goes back to Almazan. Almazan gets triple team, forcing the issue. No go. Rebound by Ventura. Tagig with a chance to tie to take the lead. Duazo. Nice move. Duazo. Back shot. Doesn't go. Rebound goes to Bundia. Columna misses on both. Rebound goes to Bernardo. Oh, that's Rizul Tayami with the rebound. And they call timeout. Big offensive rebound by the Lady Air defenders. As we'll be back with 51.1 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. At the ball game, as you see, Karen Kolumna with nine points, two steals. She had that big layup early on to uh, push this team back up to three. And they still had the basketball with 51.1 seconds remaining. The Lady Air defenders trying to upset the undefeated Lady Generals of Taguig. Mendia gets it to Almazan. Almazan attacks baseline. Steps out of bounds, turned over. As the Lady Generals get the ball back and they call their own timeout. As this was the drive by Almazan. Let's see if she does step out of bounds. She, she dribbles a basketball. Ooh, hits the line. So unfortunate for Almazan. We'll be back in a bit. Her score is 40 to 46. Back to the ball game as uh, the Lady Air defenders turn the ball over on that possession, 48 to 46. 46.4 seconds remaining here in this game. Lady Gentles with a chance to tie and take the lead on this one. They call a timeout here on this play. Referees don't see it first. And they call it here. As uh, we go to a timeout, 40 to 46. This is the WNBL. Two 
point lead by the Lady Air Defenders hanging on to this one. As uh, we see her standings, again, the Air Defenders try to upset and give the Tagig Lady Generals their first loss of the day or of the season. While uh, they want to go up 5-2. to two And uh, try to claim or secure that one, uh, one of those two top spots here in the WNBL's team standings. Both teams on uh, winning streaks, of course. The gig five straight, while the Lady Air Defenders are at four straight wins so far. After starting one and two, they've racked up, or I mean, one and one, they've racked up some wins right now. Or starting at zero and two, they're on a four game win streak at four and two right now. Side out for uh, the Lady Air Defenders. Bundia. That is a five second call. The Generals get the ball back. What a turnover by the Lady Air defenders. Bundia couldn't pass the ball in time. Our referees definitely, they were counting. That was a lot of time for the Lady Air defenders. Bundia suddenly hesitates there, and that costs the five second call. The Generals can tie it with 33 seconds remaining. Del Carmen, ooh, big turnover! Monique Del Carmen, nobody guarding her, just dribbles it off her foot, and now they have to foul. Oh, this, Del Carmen, what? A turnover by Monique Del Carmen. As the generals have no choice but to foul if the Lady Air Defenders manages to bring this in. They need to foul. They don't have. Oh, it's just a 14 second shot clock, so they don't need to foul. Five seconds remaining on the shot clock. Bernardo has it. Pulls up. Shot. No good. Rebound will go to the generals. As the generals call a timeout. So that was a big play. That missed by Bernardo, and that just sails out of bounds. 8.9 seconds remaining here in this ball game. The generals have one last chance to take a lead or tie this ball game and send it to overtime. Let's see what they call here. Crunch time by both teams. Let's see what happens here. Very interesting ball game. If you guys are just tuning in, Lady Generals were up by 11 in the first quarter. Lady Air Defenders came back and went up by as high as nine points in that third quarter. And it's been a back and forth affair here in the fourth. They just trying to come back and win this game while the Lady Air Defenders are trying their best to create some space against the Generals to secure this win. Del Carmen again with the basketball. Gloriani, Del Carmen drives inside. Again, another turnover for Monique Del Carmen as the Lady Air Defenders come away with a victory in this ball game. As the Generals commit back-to-back -back crucial turnovers to end this ball game and their streak is gone. Del Garbin drives baseline, gets caught in the air in no man's land, just tries to pass it out to nobody and Columna manages to tap it to Bernardo and that was it for the lady Air defenders as they win this one 48 to 46. The Lady Generals 
take their first loss of the season, go down 5-1. and one. Well, the Lady Air Defenders go up 5-2, and two, coming back from a double-digit deficit. We'll talk more about this in a bit. We'll be back. This is the Women's National Basketball League. And we're back to wrap things up here in the WNBL. The Taguig City Lady Generals go down against the Lady Air Defenders. And we're with our best player of the ball game, our Surge Fitness and Lifestyle, best player of the game. And uh, she had a lot of big buckets in this game. We're talking about Ana Buendia, who won this game for uh, the PSI Lady Air Defenders. And we're together. We're here now with our best player of the ball game. Uh, Ana, first of all, uh, congratulations sa inyo sa pagkapanalo. Um, Alam natin ng first quarter, medyo nag-struggle kayo in, on offense in that first quarter. What was your mindset in that first quarter para makahabol kayo sa game na to? Uh, uh, first of all po, thank you po sa ano. Uh, ang, mind, ang ano lang po namin nun, sabi lang ng coach namin, uh, uh, back to defense lang kami. Uh, bawi lang kami sa ano sa defense para makapag-offense kami agad. And of course, ano yung, what is the feeling? Ano yung feeling na Natalyo na yung number one team right now at nabigyan nyo sila yung unang pagkatalo nila dito sa WNBA. Siyempre po nakaka-proud po para sa amin. Uh, kasi po pinagandaan po namin sila, pinagarapan. Hmm. Ayan, Ana, meron ko bang babatiin? Uh, binabati ko po yung commanding general po ng Philippine Air Force, si Tenet General Kanla, sir. And yung manager po namin, Major General Agustin Malinit, sir. Tapos po, lahat po nung sumusuporta po sa Air Force. Family ko po, uh, mama ko, papa ko para sa ito, uh, patid ko. Lahat po nang sumusuporta sa amin. Sa... Yun lang po. Ako si Ana, Ana Bendia, WNBA, lang tunay ni Liga na atleta ng Pilipino. Ayan, thank you sa ating best player of the ball game, Ana Bendia of the Lady Air Defenders. Salamat sa pag... Sali sa atin dito. Let's uh, check out yung game highlights natin dito for the WNBL as uh, the Lady Air Defenders give the Lady Generals their first loss of the season. But it started off pretty badly for the La Air Defenders as the Lady Generals went on that 11-0 run to start the first quarter. This was uh, Snow Peneranda driving inside, adding to that lead in that first quarter that the Gig City Lady Generals led it 17-6 but in that second quarter the Lady Air Defenders just mounted a comeback led by again our best player in the ball game Ana Bundia shooting that shot from the outside but again a bit of a back and forth affair Lady Generals trying to stave off uh, the Lady Air Defenders but again the three point shots of the Lady Air Defenders kept going in on that one as uh, they cut that lead down to three at halftime as uh it was a 27-24 lead for the Lady Generals. In that third quarter, it was all Lady Air Defenders again. Ana Buendia down low from a pass from Almazan. And this was uh, Resultai taking the contact from Duazo and gets that shot to go anyway. Well, Ventura trying to score for the Lady Generals. But again, as we said, it was an 18-6 quarter in favor of the Lady Defenders. 
in that third quarter as they took a nine point lead headed into the fourth. And in that fourth quarter, the Lady Gems tried their best to mount a comeback. But again, uh, this was a columna with an easy layup for the Lady Air defenders as Almazan passes it to Buendia once again. And again, more plays. Columna, this was a big shot. Uh, this uh, pushed that lead back up to three for the Lady Air defenders as uh, they won this ball game by two points. the Lady Gentles their first loss